I didn't upload anything in the past two weeks because I wasn't here. I was in Palestine having the time of my life with my family. That's when I first heard about the coronavirus in the news. To be specific, the new or the novel coronavirus. It's an epidemic phenomenon and today we're gonna discuss it. This is a quick update on the coronavirus. It's the newest update by date. We have 259 deaths by now, which is concerning. We have over 10k confirmed cases. It could be mild or severe. Let's just hope that they all will be mild. And we have 1,795 severe cases that can lead to death. And now we're gonna talk about the virus. Imagine fighting a really dangerous enemy that you can't see unless you use an electron microscope. These viruses are too small to be seen by a light microscope. All of the viruses are like way smaller than bacteria and you need an electron microscope for their visibility. So this is what the coronavirus looks like. It's a single-stranded RNA virus. It's a protein envelope too. It has glycoproteins outside that can help this virus to enter the human cells or animal cells and destroy them, replicate and destroy. It's, uh, this is the RNA material. And here we have the protein envelope, the protein capsid, it's like a shell protein capsid. So the coronaviruses are a large family of viruses. They usually cause common cold that can lead to severe respiratory diseases such as pneumonia. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses, but this one this one is called novel coronavirus. Novel corona virus. Shortcut N C O V. C O for corona and for novel. Novel means in U, V for virus. So, like they didn't find a specific name to this virus, that's why they called it the novel or the new coronavirus because it's newly discovered. It all started from a city called Wuhan in China. It's a really big city containing a lot of people and you know China is a very large country containing a lot of people. That's why this virus is epidemic. This virus is zoonotic, means that it comes from animals, spread by animals. And according to the last medical discovery, this virus comes from bats. Why bats? Because the coronaviruses in bats have a similar glycoprotein. And some people said that it comes from snakes. Why snakes? Because they have a similar RNA. But maybe, just maybe, this virus can come from a different animal, an animal that no one thought about. Now how this virus can weaken your immune system, leading to death? By killing cells, lymph cells, lymphocytes, the cells that protect the body from foreign substances. Now the most common clinical feature, symptom of this virus is actually not cough, it's fever. By the recent medical search, they said that most of the people that have this virus have fever. Then comes cough, fatigue, and dyspnea. Dyspnea is the difficulty of breathing, shortness of breath. And in rare cases, very rare cases, this virus can cause diarrhea, which is totally abnormal and totally unrelatable because this virus can cause diseases only to the respiratory system. Yeah, but seems that it can affect the gastrointestinal tract too. 
so diarrhea. The transmission of this virus is most commonly from animals, so it's direct from animals. It's by eating contaminated animals of this virus, such as bats and snakes. And by a human to another human, coughs and sneezes. Human to human, coughs. Sometimes there is no symptoms, there is no way to track if you have this virus or not. At least for a while you won't have symptoms. The best way for protection against this virus is to stay at home and don't go to restaurants and eat public food. You don't need that. Avoid public places such as hospitals, parks and stay hydrated and let's just pray that they're gonna find <coughs> that they're gonna find a vaccine for this virus. So this is the novel coronavirus or the new coronavirus at least. I hope that you liked this video, like and subscribe for more content, share with your friends for caution, peace.